You know, to have the best mechanics in Fortnite, you need to have these types of edits mastered. No matter what input you really play on. And so learning the quad edit is an extremely hard task and is why this video is perfect for you. It's your motivation guy, Keith Allen, the captain of the Bunch of Crunch Army. And today we're gonna go through the hardest combination of edits and teach you how to master them. We're gonna go through many different types of edits such as the triple edit, uh, quad edit, and the insane quintuple edit. All right guys, question of the day. Can you consistently triple edit without losing momentum? All right, let us know in the comments down below. We're definitely gonna check it out. All right, here we go. Let's get started with this video. All right, guys, so to start off, let's learn exactly how to double edit. You know, many of you probably already mastered the double edit, but it's still a great idea to really go over it. You know, double edit is very simple and only really requires you to place a floor, cone, and edit two tiles. If you're having trouble consistently double editing, practice it by ramping upwards, placing a floor and a cone, and try your best to keep going. Just keep placing your ramps and double editing a single tile till you are 100% sure that you can keep double editing eight times without messing up or losing momentum. There are also also harder variations of the double edit like the double tile edits which require you to flick your crosshair in the desired direction. So to do a two tile double edit simply ramp up, place a floor and comb and flick up to down. You can also flick from left to right but we recommend practicing the up to down double edit first. And so this allows you to combine the double edit with retakes as it forms a ramp to the side and will help you triple edit. When you edit the tiles from left to right the builds will break above you and so in a build fight you obviously don't want that happening and so you won't stay protected. So just remember after mastering this single tile double edit, make sure that you can consistently do the double tile variation with ease, all right? All right, so speaking of the two tile variation of the double edit, the triple edit is very easy to learn once you've mastered the double edit. All you gotta do is just really learn an additional step, which is very easy with just a little practice. So just start off with placing a ramp, floor, and a cone and edit the two left tiles. This is a normal double edit, all right? And to triple edit, all you have to do is just place a wall and edit the bottom right half of the wall. This is definitely the easiest variation of the triple edit and it's just very easy to learn if you guys keep practicing consistently. Like I keep telling you, man, it's all about practicing and I get hit up on my Instagram all the time at Your Motivation Guy and you guys ask me these questions and I tell you the same thing. I know in order to be great and play like some of these pros are doing right now, we need the practice, all right? You got to put that grind in. So keep practicing your double edits and just try your best to really place the wall without losing momentum. The hard Hard part is actually editing the wall and having enough time to sprint forward and start another triple edit. So get those fingers moving. All right, another variation of the triple edit is editing the floor and cone from left to right or just doing a simple tile triple edit. The single tile triple edit may seem easier to most players, but we recommend learning the two tile triple edit as it allows you to have more space when editing the wall. You know, many players tend to mess up these variations just because they accidentally edit the floor instead of the wall or even edit the wall through the floor. Sure, the other variations may look cooler, but we still recommend learning the double tile triple edit before you try other variations. And so if you're having trouble doing multiple triple edits without losing momentum, it's definitely because of your binds or because you just don't use edit on release. So check out our previous settings video if you guys want to find the most optimal binds and settings to edit to your maximum potential. All right, so now we're talking. All right, let's check out the quad edit and how you can do it. The quad edit is an advanced edit that not many players can actually do, and it requires a lot of different things that only comes with practice. So to start off a quad edit is actually different than the previous beginning steps. To start a quad edit, you need to place a cone instead of a ramp and edit the cone into a ramp. Once you edit the cone, you need to place a floor and a cone. So doing this takes a lot of skill, guys. So practice this movement a couple of times until you get it down. The quad edit requires your movement to be perfect and will never let your fingers rest. And once you got this movement down and really know how to edit the top two tiles of the cone into a ramp, you are ready for the next step. The next step to quad edit is editing the top two tiles of the floor and cone like you would normally do with a double tile edit and place the wall as fast as you can. So this step is very hard to get down, so definitely practice this like a couple times more till you perfect it. And finally, all you gotta do is what we previously recommended and edit the wall. To do the quad edit consistently, you have to edit the cone into a ramp as soon as you edit the wall. Keep practicing the quad edit slowly and as you start getting it down, speed up until you can consistently do it without having to stop. 
Remember to enable edit on release and even learn to use double edit binds if you can't move your fingers fast. So the last edit that only the top 1% of Fortnite players can actually do is the quintuple edit. This edit is so hard, man, that it requires players to have either zero ping and edit on release or double edit binds and below 30 ping. The reason like this edit is so hard and that it obviously adds an extra step to the quad edit, which is something that the average player can't do at all. The quintuple edit is the exact same as the quad edit, except that you start off with a flashy cone flip or even a ramp flip if you want an easier variation. The hardest variation of the quintuple edit is the cone flip, but it is the one that we're gonna be teaching you guys since it's the most popular one. So to start off by placing a cone, editing into a backwards ramp, instantly reset it and just edit it into a ramp and just start running up. As soon as you edit the cone, place a floor in a cone and edit the left two tiles and place a wall. After placing a wall, edit it and be ready to place a cone instantly. Every single player struggles with this edit and really the only quickest ones can do it. However, don't be demotivated guys because your motivation guy is here and I gotta tell you about this man. Pro guys, you know, we're here to help you guys along the way. And so right after you edit the wall, remember to flip the cone into a backwards ramp and instantly flip it again. If you're having lots of trouble, you know, flipping the cone, we recommend doing the ramp variation of this edit. Instead of having to edit and reset twice, you could just place a ramp and flip it with one edit. Since this variation is much easier, just remember to practice both and work your way up to it. Just master the quad edit first. Speaking of mastering the quad edit first, okay, we also recommend that you play along watching this video, all right? Watch it through and remember each step before playing. And you can also use our step-by-step -step to actually play and learn these edits while having the video in the background. And so this is definitely the easiest way to learn, guys. And with our help, you're going to be a fast editor in no time. All right, so when it comes to getting better at Fortnite, there's a world of information out there, but, you know, not everything always gives you structure, right? And so if you want pro one-on-one -on -one coaching from top pros, go to ProGuys.com and sign up today using code RankUp2021 for 20% off. They are designed to train you in every area, and according to your pace, highly recommend it. All right, so to complete a double edit, place a ramp floor and comb. You can edit the two left tiles or a single tile. Both work, and it's mostly a preference. All right, guys, so to complete a triple edit, place a ramp, floor, and comb, and edit the two left tiles. After editing, place a wall instantly and edit it to the side so you can just run through it. All right, so to complete a quad edit, place a wall, edit it so that you can run through it, and remember to place a cone and edit instantly. All right, so to complete a quintuple edit, place a cone, flip it backwards and forwards, and make sure that you do this without losing momentum. Edit the floor and cone, place a wall, and edit it so that you can run through. Just make sure that you always place the cone instantly and flip it so you can have time to complete all edits. All right, guys, we hope you guys found this video useful and learned a lot, you know, and got your new tips and strategies to win your games. You know, mechanics and game sense take a lot of practice to really master, and so we hope this video really helped you guys out on your journey to success. And so make sure to practice everything that we mentioned. Spend time implementing these new strategies day after day. Listen, do not give up on your dreams. Do not surrender and give up just because you're struggling. I'm telling you, man, practice makes things perfect, so get on your grind. If you guys liked the video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and connect with me on my Instagram at Your Motivation Guy. Believe in you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.